Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to timely get new video updates. In this short video we will learn how to install Ubuntu Server. The installation method would be same for virtual or physical server install. This guide will provide an overview of the installation from Ubuntu Server ISO version 22.04.3 long-term support version. Ubuntu Server is a variant of the standard Ubuntu you already know, tailored for networks and services. It's just as capable of running a simple file server as it is operating within a 50,000 node cloud. Unlike the installation of Ubuntu Desktop, Ubuntu Server does not include a graphical installation program. Instead, it uses a text menu-based process. If you'd rather install the desktop version, take a look at our Install Ubuntu Desktop tutorial, you can find the link in description of this video. Since everything on a Ubuntu server is done by the command line, the lack of a GUI graphical interface and its many dependencies means that the minimum system requirements are far lower. You'll need to consider the listed minimum requirements before starting the installation. Download the Ubuntu Server ISO from Ubuntu official website. You can find alternative releases but we will go with current long-term support version. Wait for your download to complete. After download complete, open VMware Workstation and start with create a new virtual machine option. Follow the screen instructions to import ISO and assign resources as per your requirements. Select Try or Install Ubuntu Server option. After the boot messages appear, a language menu will be displayed. As the message suggests, use the up, down, and enter keys to navigate through the menu and select the language you wish to use. We skip update to new installer and select continue without updating option. Before you need to type anything in, the installer will next display a menu asking you to select your keyboard layout. If you don't know which particular variant you want, just go with the default. When Ubuntu Server has been installed you can test and change your preferences more easily if necessary. For the base installation option, I will select search for third-party drivers. This will helpful if you have internet access. The installer will automatically detect and try to configure any network connections via DHCP. This is usually automatic and you will not have to enter anything on this screen, it is for information only. If no network is found, the installer can continue anyway, 
it just won't be able to check for updates. You can always configure networking after installation. Next, I will go with default proxy and default mirror address. You can choose as per your company requirements. You can choose entire disk or can customize storage option and encrypt storage if needed. I will go with default option. Before the installer makes any destructive changes, it will show this final confirmation step. Double check that everything looks good here and you aren't about to reformat the wrong device. The software is now being installed on the disk, but there is some more information the installer needs. Ubuntu server needs to have at least one known user for the system and a host name. The user also needs a password. If you have subscription account you can enable Ubuntu Pro option, else can go with skip for now option. Next, you need to define if you wish to enable OpenSSH option and install OpenSSH. There is also a field for importing SSH keys, either from Launchpad, Ubuntu One or GitHub. You simply need to enter the username and the installer will fetch the relevant keys and install them on the system ready for use. Once you have finished entering the required information, the screen will now show the progress of the installer. Ubuntu Server now installs a concise set of useful software required for servers. This cuts down on the install and setup time dramatically. Of course, after the install is finished, you can install any additional software you may need. When the install is complete, you will prompt to reboot. Remember to remove the install media, and then press enter to reboot and start the server or else you will get error forcing you to remove media before reboot. Congratulations, you have successfully installed your Ubuntu server. Thank you for watching, please like, Share and subscribe for more informative videos.